What's up my witches, it's Stephanie here. So I've had a long and wonderful day. Um, I got to hang out with the awesome Gypsy Jean. Um, I also got to hang out with her husband Kenny and I also got to hang out with Kat. Now Kat and Kenny do not have their own YouTube channels, so just names I guess. Um, I did take some clips, um, one of them being where we were in the rock shop, which was actually so cool. I, I can never go back in there without just having cash in hand because I'll be like I will spend way too much money um it was it was amazing um I bought a lot of stuff guys a lot of stuff like you were gonna be so amazed like this is this is my haul this is my everything like you're gonna love it um so I kind of wanted to do a bit of a um uh, show and tell kind of stuff like show you what I got before you see any of the videos because in the videos I don't show you what I got really um and I didn't do too much of the videos and stuff so oopsie sorry um but yeah so I'm also going to talk about other things um so Gypsy Cat and I were thinking of maybe doing a live chat at some point so that could be really interesting or horrifying We'll see. Um, no, I'm kidding, Cat. You know, she watches. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we went to about, let's see, one, two, three. We went to like four stores, and most, like, pretty much all of them were like metaphysical, crystal shops, stuff like that. Um, we went into this one place, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but she's always got like all these oils and incense and stuff going on, and I was just so like, okay, this is a great day. After that story, that I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't drive. Not that it stopped me. Um, but yeah, so we went into like four stores. I bought a crap ton of crystals and some other stuff that I actually needed. And uh, let's get into that. So one of the first stores we went into is the one I always go to. That's the, um, I'm trying to remember the store names right now. Um, hmm. Stone Soup, sorry. I don't know why it took me so long. But anyway, so I went to Stone Soup first. I'm sorry, I'm grabbing receipts and stuff. Um, I bought some, let me drop all this on the table. I bought a lot of crystals. I bought some frankincense resin, so we'll see how that smells. Um, I also bought a very small piece of carn carnelian. I hope I'm saying that right. And the whole reason I bought this piece is it has some color decorations and it's got a little divot in it. So it's like a little bean. It's so cute. Like, I just like the way I could hold it. It's so flat. <laughs> Almost. But yeah, so I got that and I also got a banded agate. Which one was that? Hell, if I can remember. Ah, here we go. And I don't know if this will do it justice because these colors are amazing and the way it's banded is just beautiful so I really like this piece a lot um, I like the way it's banded because it's like it's layers like ocean wave layers to me so I was really enjoying that um, so we went there we also went to the next one was the root shop roots shop shop -a. Um, she was a really chillax chick. I like her. I was like, yeah, you're cool. I like you. I like everything about you. Her little kid was like behind the table or behind the counter shop and I'm like, he's so cute. Oh my god. We all were like, we were clapping and he would clap and he would like laugh and it was like, it was adorable. Um, but anyway, so mostly her stuff was like herbal stuff. Um, like she can make you blends or I, I don't know. Um, mostly I was just interested on what was on our side of the counter, not her side of the counter, but she has like a crap ton of herbs. So if you're from our area or anywhere near our area, go hit her up. She's actually behind the, um, behind the stone soup and all that. So go hit her up. She's a really cool person. Um, but anyway, so I needed a new, or I needed not a new, but I needed a funnel for my oils and stuff so you know how tiny those little bottles are but I needed something to be able to put the oils in them so this will help a lot I can't believe I did not buy one when I bought the little, little bottles I was like oh this will be easy yeah I'll just use the little like dripper thing and like and done no oh my god 
you ever tried to fill one of those little suckers up it takes forever so I got that hopefully it'll help me out in the future and I'll actually want to make more oils <laughs> the whole reason I don't make them right now is because it is a pain in the ever-loving booty to use that little dropper to drop oil in the little bottles and I'm like so anyway um, so I got that and then another thing is um, I normally I don't like doing stuff like I don't like doing tea or whatever because I don't have a place to put like the the little tea bag and stuff you know I'm like oh where am I supposed to put this or my spoon or whatever so um, she actually had this and you put your tea ball in there so you know fill your tea ball up with your tea loose tea and you know after you're done like dripping it stick it on this little sucker and then you don't have to worry about like a mess everywhere but it's not like this plate or something taking up all the space in your room or on your counter space or whatever so um, yay for useful things that I actually like and want and needed and that weren't too awful much I think I spent less than ten dollars in her store in total um, so then after that we went to this oil place and she went out of like every single oil that I was like yes I need that and then she was like oh oops sorry I'm out I'm out. and she does that to me like every single time I, I don't even know why I even go in there anymore like she is such a sweet and wonderful lady but she's almost constantly out so basically of like the the things that she sells the most of you know um she's got a lot of other stuff you know that she keeps um but i mean honestly i would probably just buy it offline or something i know it's sad but you know it's just that that is the way it is um because her stuff's actually kind of expensive so um i was told that oh by the way you can actually buy all this stuff online for like hella cheaper you know by half price or so um so anyway after we were done with her we went to the rock shop and it was amazing and expensive. I ended up spending $86 and half of which was these pearls that I got. So don't hate me or do hate me. I don't know. I don't know if you can see those right here. Let me see if I can get them. I kind of wanted to show you like all of them, but they're beautiful. Purples and greens and like when the color hits them just right you get that like orange sunset they're just they're gorgeous um so if I remember correctly these are Tahitian pearls um peacock Tahitian pearls mostly like there's a bunch of green ones in here um if I remember correctly I could be wrong correct me if I'm wrong I'm okay with that um but they were 40 bucks for just this one string of pearls so I'm gonna have to learn how to string these real quick <laughs> um, and I'm probably going to end up wearing them every day of my life but yeah so that was half my purchase I have wanted pearls of these colors um, you know the greens and the purples and just I don't know it's it's so beautiful to me so to me that was worth it um, especially since I saw in one of the other shops that we went to that they had a string of pearls almost exactly like these and it was like $111. I'm like, I can do my own stringing. That's not hard. <laughs> so, um, that'll be a thing. I'll have to learn how to string or make, make a necklace out of these. We'll see what happens. Hopefully not anything horrible. Um, but yeah, so that was like half of it. And then the rest of it was like awesome crystals. So I got this huge wand of selenite. Motherfucker, please. Look at this. Look at this crazy little piece of awesome. I like how it's kind of chipped off on the end there. Actually, my favorite thing about this is the fact that it's flat. So I can take it and I can lay all my crystals up on it and, you know, everything. It, it's, it's basically like a flat surface and I can put things on it and I'm getting like selenite dust all over me. So she had a crap ton of these. You'll see that in the video. Um, she had a lot of other stuff that I don't know if I showed it in the video or not I tried to do like the whole store because it was like two rooms and there was like there was crystals everywhere there was all sorts of crystals the lighting wasn't really good but I did try so um I got that I also got let's see that's the selenite log oh I got this wonderful piece of labradite she has labradite for days okay so 
both sides are about this colorful and actually I really don't think the camera does it justice and it was $14 for this nice little piece well not little but you know what I mean so anyway and I'm sorry it's like showing my screen um, but it, this is like a really colorful piece like most of them you kind of like oh you know a little shine here and there no this is like both sides like amazing um, so to me it was worth it um, she had a bunch of other pieces none of them were as shiny as this one shiny shiny pretty pretty um, <laughs> and before I remember, forget so um, I also got a ruby and I really don't think I'd be able to see it but I'll try um, so this is a little ruby yeah, you can kind of see that little reddish purplish purplish glint off of it and you can actually kind of see into it when you have the light up to it you can actually see the colors um so I was really enjoying having this now you know in my collection um I don't remember what these are she just said bulk like she didn't even put down everything she was just like bulk um quit beeping you darn little thing um, so I got two of these. I don't remember the name of them. If you know what they are, tell me in the comments below, please, so that I'll actually remember. I have the memory of a gnat. And then I got this one. That's the same exact kind of stone. It's just different, oops, let me drop this on front of you, just different colors slightly, you know, like dark blue. Um, this is a leopard. It's related to the kind of like snowflake leopard or whatever it's called. I'm not very good at crystals, okay? As you can obviously tell. But it's got, it looked like somebody tie dyed a rock, okay? I could not even help myself. Um, I got something really interesting. It's a shaman ball or moki ball. And it's apparently iron or something. But it rolls down from the hills and. I don't know. I just thought it was really interesting. So I was like, you know what? I felt around. I got one that I liked. They're really light. I was like, iron? It has to be heavy. No. Um, so I got that as well. I also got some moonstones. Or are they sunstones? These are sunstones. I did not get moonstone this time. So I got a couple more pieces of sunstone. Um, I have been encouraged to build a prosperity altar. I am going to build one now. Jean actually picked this one out for me. So thank you, Jean. I love you. We were all like, Jean, how about this? Pick one out for me. How about me? What would you do for this? <laughs> Poor Jean. She was in so, so much demand. We were like, ooh, maybe we should stop hassling her. So we also got this one. I had a thing for like weirdly colored crystals today. Like, I don't know why. It's just, this one's really interesting. It's got all these like little patches and patterns and stuff of like color and everything on it. So I really enjoyed that one. I got a bigger piece of carna carnaline? carnaline? I don't know. I really enjoyed this one though. So I got a bigger piece of it. Um, I also got introduced to a store that I knew was in Crestview, but I literally thought just sold candy. They sell crystals and they sell, um, what are they called? They're the rocks geodes? Yeah, you break them open and yeah. So anyway, they sell those, unbroken ones, so that you can break your own. I was like, what? Um, I don't remember the names for all the rocks. I really don't. I took a lot of pictures while I was there. <laughs> If I need to know anything, I'll probably just ask Kat. I'll be like, Kat, you took thousands of pictures of everything next to each other, so you should you should you should know what this is. Um, I think I took a picture of this one. I don't remember the name of it. I literally bought it because I had nothing really green except for the labradorite, and that's like green and blue and black and you know awesomeness. Um, I also got a piece of pyrite, 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 little piece of metal block. I don't know why I don't like the circular ones it's just not my thing but yeah so I got that it's apparently supposed to be good for prosperity so I don't know you see them on like the internet and they've got these huge pieces and I'm like oh yeah that'd be awesome like four bucks for this little sucker right here don't go crystal shopping without having a huge budget like literally a huge budget I think I spent over a hundred dollars today and then my little brother comes home and he's like, oh, um, your tire, I accidentally kind of killed it. I'm like, but he's paying for it, so what ifs. Um, and I really don't remember what this is, but I kind of needed it, but didn't need it, you know? I don't know. Like, my 
body and my brain went, get the thing. And then I was like, no, I totally don't need it. It's like a little volcanic rock or something like that. I don't know. It's really interesting. So I get to go through and reorganize all my crystals and that'll be really fun. And what I really need to do is I need to get like one of those little like Tupperware boxes. The ones with like all the little sections in it so that way I can section out all my crystals and be like okay this goes here and this goes here and this goes here and have all the ones that are like similar or are the same together and then have all the ones that are like you know sorry my hair is still like soaking wet um but then have all the ones that aren't you know separated and maybe if I do that it'll help me out in being able to actually recognize my crystals <laughs> it's really hard okay um but yeah so that was a ton of fun. Um, I don't know if I prefaced this with saying that uh, we're deciding, we, we were thinking about deciding on doing a live chat together. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if everybody has the right equipment for it. Um, I think, I think Gypsy Jean does, but I don't know if Cat does. Could be fun. I'm trying to talk her into doing a YouTube channel. So if she makes a, a, a YouTube channel to do the uh, live chat with us, you guys should totally hassle her. Not hassle her in a mean way. In a nice way. Say, you know, show us your stuff. Not like that. Anyway. Um, so that's basically all I have for you guys today. Um, there's going to be a clip of the rock shop. And then there's going to be like this most random weird clip when we were in the car getting the sodas. And I was like, this totally deserves to be on YouTube. So that will, th this is going to be your uh, Tuesday episode uh, on the 15th. I am really, really tired. I am writing a writing my paper right now <laughs> on Saturday. That's another reason why I took the day off. It wasn't just because I was dead tired. It's also because I haven't written my paper, my three-page paper of holy shit. Um, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll turn out well. Um, but after Tuesday, I should be pretty much done with that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm turning this kind of into an update too. <laughs> so after Tuesday, I should be pretty much done with that so I can actually get back on doing like my books and stuff, you know, book reviews and all that. Because um, I know I promised you guys like the Outer Temple and all that, but I'm like, I'm behind in life, okay? <laughs> huh. I got yelled at over the phone, basically. We cannot excuse your absence. I'm like, uh, I'm really, really sick. I have to stay in today even though I'm going to come in tomorrow. Yeah. Always, always excuse yourself with something that is like a 24 hour thing. Like, oh, I have a 24 hour flu or food poisoning or I can't get off the toilet. I don't know. Something. Okay. You know? Um, but yeah, so that's basically all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the clips and I will see you next video. Don't forget. We're at the rock shop. <laughs> You're on YouTube. Oh, great. Yep. Hey, at least your makeup looks fabulous. They got all sorts of crazy shit. Thank you. You're on YouTube now, too. And how much are your smaller pieces? Like a dollar, right? Is that what they are? If I have to apologize for what I've done in public. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> Um, after, you know, mm -hmm. lunch there, uh, that's us behaving. Mm -hmm. yes, actually there is. There's oh jammed under there. Mm -hmm. There's Gypsy Chee. Guys, go to her YouTube. <laughs> Hi! Sorry. Oops. Oh my god. Like Look how big yeah, these mofos are. Like I'm gonna hyperventilate at this point. <laughs> we are. We're adorable. You should take me home. Feed me. I fed me. I bought that. You need. You guys are terrible pet owners, by the way.
I didn't know they had tangerine quartz. That's pretty. Wow, look at all the quartz. Mm -hmm. Are you going through seeing how much you can name? No, I'm like, hmm, that's right here. And then I have one of them. There's Gigi coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just jacking with you at this point. She's like, what do you have over here? She has all the pretty things. She does have all the pretty things. She's like balls of stuff. Ooh. 50% off. For beading, if you want to still do the jewelry stuff. Oh, I've got some stuff coming. There's all sorts of cool shit over here. See, she's got dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure those are enough dinosaurs. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's terrible. What are those? Um, desert rose quartz something? They're kind of cute. Look at this. Look at all of it. There's my wallet because I like leaving stuff all over the place. You guys are going to get dizzy. All sorts of little crystals, so cute. Okay, okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> Our bitches and hoes! Nose bros, bitches, hoes. Is he not one of my bitches? <laughs> not admittingly, no. <laughs> That's my bitch, you better watch out. Wait, I thought Shut we were sharing here. here. I don't know, do you want to share? Do you want me to share the, the community penis? <laughs> He's our community penis. Who, who, wow. who told me about the woman that has a husband that shares her husband? Wasn't that you? No. Um, isn't that polygamy? Yeah. No. Because they don't live no, together. She, she just shares them. Hmm. Yeah, when they need to So she just like picks about. She's got a bunch of yeah. friends. The husbands are in the military and this, that, and the other. And they get lonely. So she loans out her husband. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's the end of that conversation. Bye.